Alberta's left bridge pronghorns, yeah! The very enthusiastic left bridge pronghorns in town to take on the number one ranked team in the CIS, the SFU clan. Lanny Gibbons replacing Celine Dion in Vegas in 2009 with her patented circus moves. Then the no-look pass to Robin Buna, and Bunalicious says, can you handle that? The Cascades must have made Greg Wallace angry at halftime because in the second half, he turns into the Incredible Hulk, first with the two, then the emphatic slam. Smash! Crush the Cascades, says Wallace. Griffin continues to apply the pressure in the first quarter here, posterizing Eddie Bankston. Shaw cancels her cable and throws it into overdrive. Julia Howard, one of several clan alumni in the race. 400 meters in, the runners turn the corner to enter the dark, dense forest and hilly terrain of Mundy Park. Thanks, Rebecca. On your left, Burnaby native Dylan Gant is no Corey Hart, as he wears his sunglasses during the day. And Seth Fraser has the eyes of a Death Star laser. The Mitch Cully Express steams through to the end of the line and arrives just in time as he is lucky number seven. A raucous Burnie Mountain crowd on hand in front of a raucous Halloween crowd. In front of a raucous Orientation Week crowd at Swan Guard as the clan fans try to stay behind their team. SFU trying to keep that momentum rolling as Graham Lee drops Anthony Woodson for a three-yard loss and immediately turns his attention to firing up the home crowd. Kaylee Rawlings in front, her shot is saved, but Catlin, don't call me, Caitlin Carruthers finishes and the phantom goal gets credited to Caitlin, don't call me, Catlin Young, and you can't tame the Stallion, he scores. Barrett now streaking up the right side and the Stallion taking off and finishing because you can't tame the Stallion. UBC applying the pressure in the final minutes and it looks like a game of Pong in front of the net. Bloop. 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 But they can't score. Much like a controlled explosion, Cully does the locomotion, finishing with a personal best time of 152.65. After the race, the Express pulls up to the crowd and pumps his pistons in appreciation for their support. Moving on to the field events, with a hop, skip, and a jump, Sven competes in the triple jump. Thanks, Rebecca. The clan looking to turn the dinos into some brontosaurus burgers, but here Julie Kopke says, This isn't madness, this is Sparta! Still in the first set and a really long rally. How long was it, Scott McLean? It's so long, Director Gareth Maddock Jones, that I got time to check my email. Let's see here. HuggyBear82 at yahoo.com. Get my password in there. No new messages. Gareth, you didn't even respond to my evite. And that's really great because we've only had to listen to Langford, so it's kind of nice to have n another person's input, so that's really great too. Awesome, thanks, buddy. I hate doing that. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say. And um, uh, I got nothing. I don't know. Hopefully, the experience of the clan game from this prestigious event will lead to future CIS and NAI national championships. But only time will tell. For the Clan Athletics Network, this is Brendan Sabino. Well, that was a good one, I thought. Eh? <laughs> the Clan still fall to 0-5 on the season. Next up, of course, UBC on Saturday. When the I just. <laughs> <laughs>